Mo here again, CCNY family. Um, I'm coming to you guys with another workout. This time around, I'm going to be working on our core. Um, I like to use this, honestly, at the end of um, workouts, but you can use this as a standalone workout in itself if you want to. So um, it's just going to consist of four different exercises that we use for our core and our oblique. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so boom, for the first exercise that we're going to do is going to be a standing crunch. Um, for this whole workout, you're not going to need any equipment, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, I personally like to do my core with the basketball, but it's not necessary. Um, and it's dope when you jump in and out the pictures at all. Don't worry about that. So for the standing crunch, all you have to do is just lean on your back like so. I want you to look straight up in the air. You're looking at the ceiling. I want your hands to be out. The reason why I want your hands to be out is because I don't want you to crush your neck going forward like this, how people usually do during the core. I want your hands up the ceiling just like yourself and you're just crunching up crunching up you're gonna feel constriction in your abdominal area the upper area and we're gonna do this about 20 times about 20 times that's gonna be the first exercise standard crunch the next exercise we're gonna do here is gonna be called a Russian twist the Russian twist all you have to do kind of be balanced you're gonna be balanced on your backside you're gonna have your legs crossed in the air and again you don't need any equipment but if you want to hold on to a basketball if you have a dog at home you're just gonna use it to twist from side to side and we're working our obliques we're gonna do this about 20 times each side And that's the Russian twist. So for this next exercise, it's gonna be a reverse crunch. All you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your backside again. But this time around, you're gonna put your hands on the small of your back, just for some balance. And all I want you to do is extend your legs all the way out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna reverse crunch. You're gonna bring your knees in, and bring it right back out to the starting position. So you're take, tucking your knees in, you're doing a crunch, a reverse crunch, and you're stretching your legs all the way back out. We're gonna repeat this motion 20 reps. And that's gonna be our reverse crunch. Okay, now, last but not least, we're gonna do a sit and reach. Another <laughs> exercise, the dog's gonna, you're gonna lay down on your back like so. And you're gonna have your hands up about, I'm gonna say ankle level to where your ankles are. And all I want you to do is look straight up in the air, just like you're doing with the stairs of the crunch, you're looking up at the ceiling. And I just want you to reach as far as you can for your toes. You're looking straight up reaching as far as you can to your toes and we're doing this for another set of 20. So that's it all for the exercises. We did a standard crunch, we did the sit and reach, we did Russian twist, we did a reverse crunch as well. Um, what I like to do is a circuit. What I mean by a circuit is I'll do um, each exercise once and that'll be one set and I like to complete at least three to four different sets of this um, workout uh, depending on the number of reps that I do and I do anywhere between 15 to 20 reps so thank you guys again for sitting um, doing this workout with me and um, I hope everybody's being safe you're washing your hands and hopefully we'll see each other soon